Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide, and this is continuation of SQL Server interview questions and answers. So today we are going to discuss one more interview question that is how to apply filter for integer values only. So let's move to next slide to understand about the question. So as we can see, we have input table that would have only two columns. First is ID, second is value. In value column, we are having alphanumeric values like ABC, then 11.14, then 1, 2 and so on. So here we just want only those records which is having only integer values in value column. So as we can see for ID 103, value is 1 that is integer value. So we want this in the output. Next for 104, value is 2. This is again integer. So we want in output. Next is 108 that is 45. This is again integer value. So we want in output. So we just want only integer values which is available in the value column. So let's move to SQL Server Management Studio to write the query for getting this output. As I am using SQL 2017, you may have another version of SQL Server, but this query will work for all the versions above 2K12. So here I just want to create the table. So we can execute this create table statement to create the table. So as we can see table is created successfully. Now I just want to insert record on this table. So we can execute this insert statement. Now 8 rows affected. It means 8 records have been inserted. Now we just want to check the records. So we can write select asterisk from table. Now we can execute and we are having the same metadata. So how we can write the simplest way to get the only integer values. So for that we can use try parse. So what is try parse? So we can use here try parse and inside this try parse we just want to convert this value columns values in integer. Now let me check the output. So once we execute then if this value column value is converted to integer successfully then it's gonna return the value otherwise it's gonna return null. So as we can see ABC is not going to convert in the integer that's why null. In case of 11.14 that is numeric value. This is not the integer value. So by using try parse we can differentiate between integer and numeric values. So we can get the null for that numeric as well. So we can use this in the where clause for getting the output. So we can directly write where try parse value as integer. If it's not going to return as zero, then we want in output. So we can execute and we are getting only those values which is integer and here we can also use is not null so we are getting the same metadata so i hope you have understand how we can get the output by using try pass so if you need this script it will be available on the description of this video so you can copy from there for your testing purpose so thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. Thank you so much.